So whether or not you're a fan, I'm sure that you've heard this song. And today we're going to be learning English with it, along with two more of The Weeknd's hits. Be warned, his songs include vulgar language and topics like drugs. So if you are sensitive to these, then you might want to check out a more family-friendly lesson by clicking up here. And by the way, if you are new here, every single week we help you to understand your favorite movies, series, songs, and more without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Like Ilola, who said that our lessons help them increase their IELTS score. So we'll help you to reach your English learning goals too. Just hit that subscribe button and the bell below so you won't miss any of our new lessons. As he states from the very beginning when he says, I'm trying to put you in the worst mood, this song isn't intended to make us feel good. As you can see in many points of the first verse and later in the song too, he is boastful of his wealth and status. Although it looks like he just wants to cause jealousy to his audience, this song is ultimately about the pain and emptiness he feels despite doing so well financially and being a celebrity, which becomes clear when he sings the chorus. House of empty, need a centerpiece. Twenty racks of table come from ebony. Cut that ivory into skinny pieces. Then she clean up with a face, but I love my baby. Before we break down the vocabulary of this verse, let's look at some common and formal words that we could also use to describe what he's doing in this verse. So, we could say things like, he's bragging about his wealth, or boasting about his possessions. He's flexing, or that whole verse is a huge flex. He's showing off his cars. He's being ostentatious. When you brag or boast about something, you talk proudly about the things you own or something you have done. Not to brag, but Scully and I have a combined total of 14 arrests. Would have been 20, but well, I got 14. That's not enough arrests. Well, no one asked you. When you use flex, in a literal sense, you probably say it as to flex your arms or to flex your biceps, which you do to show your muscles or how strong you are. In a figurative sense as slang, we might say someone is flexing or flexing on us when they show off their possessions or something great they have done. I got a tail on you. You may be the last stop as well. Oh, man. The sheriff's just flexing. He ain't a real threat. Show off means the same thing. You could flex or show off many things that don't have anything to do with money. Like he's showing off his good grades, or she's flexing her trophies. Yes, what is the big deal? I buy bets for people every day. Yeah, with their money, not ours. I, I know you love your college friends, but every time you get together with them, you all become a bunch of little bitches, all this sniping and showing off. You, you don't have to show off to them. We don't have to compete. Let's now review the ostentatious vocabulary of this verse. I'm trying to put you in the worst mood. Uh. Here, he's referencing an expensive car, the McLaren P1, which he has been spotted driving early in his career. Next, he mentions the common practice of wearing your nicest clothes and shoes when going to church. However, in a play on words, he's also referencing churches, an English brand of high-end shoes. True to his boastful ways, The Weeknd casually drops the price of the car we just mentioned, just to hurt us. How much do you think a milli point two is? Two million, one million, one point two million. A lamb is a Lamborghini, and to tease means to laugh at someone in order to have fun, either in a friendly way or in an unkind way. Show off what you talking about. Unless you like to tease, baby. In reality, you don't know what I please, baby. 
Then he makes the next point. None of these toys on lease to In the United States, it's common to lease cars, meaning renting a car for a long period of time. However, the weekend owns these cars, or toys as he refers to them. We can say that we're leasing a car, or that our car is on lease. I'll just buy some new shit, never down with a lease. You never lived in your truth, I'm just happy I lived in it. He gave her a pair of diamond earrings and leased her a car. You're kidding. You think she's taking advantage of him? Oh, of course not. She wouldn't do something like that. So, you could lease an expensive car, even without being really rich. However, The Weeknd has so much money that he could buy and own these luxury cars. In the United States, when we talk about salaries, we talk about it in terms of how much money someone earns in a whole year. You think Bethany Frankel is behind a desk all day? She makes $100 million a year. How much do you make a year? $101 million. The median wage for workers in the US is somewhere between forty dollars to $50,000 a year. So, The weekend makes, meaning earns, that in just a week. In the uncensored lyrics, he says main bitch and side bitch. We will refer to women in a nicer way here and say that he's talking about his main girl and his side girl. His main girl would be his wife or girlfriend, and his side girl would be another girl he regularly meets and cheats on his wife with. This is slang. A non-slang word we'd use for this kind of woman would be his mistress. To add insult to injury, or to make things worse after having stated all the money he has, he says that both his girlfriends are out of your league. When you say that a person is out of your league, you think you're not good looking enough or don't have the social status to cause them to like you. I know it's hard to believe, but I was actually a bit of a nerd back in the day, and it was suggested that I was out of my league when I landed Claire. By Jay, mostly. And my friends. And, and my parents. And Claire. Oh, you're so much better when you don't speak. If you get some, get one thing. Can't pay me boy, I'm out of your league. How so empty need a son of peace? Twenty racks of table come from Ebony. Cut that ever into skinny pieces, then she clean up with a face, but I love my baby. Now in the chorus, he talks about his house being empty. But on a deeper level, he brings up his emotional loneliness. He owns a big house that is actually empty, just like he feels. And he plans to simply replace that physical emptiness with a centerpiece, meaning some kind of ornament or thing that will take up that empty room. By 20 racks, he means a rack like this, which he uses to store his many shoes. But it could also mean that the ebony table he purchased cost $20,000. Ebony is an expensive hard black wood. Ivory is another expensive material that comes from the tusks of an elephant. Skinny means the opposite of wide or broad. This line makes a reference to cocaine. A hearing aid is the device like the one you see in the picture, which assists your hearing if you have health issues related to your ears. The idea in this line, however, is that he doesn't care, doesn't mind to listen, when someone talks about his money, because he has enough of it on his own. By the way, when we want to insult someone for not listening to us, we can say this. However, this is quite rude. Then he says, you talking about me? I don't see the shade. Which means that he doesn't care about people throwing shade at him. To throw shade at someone means to criticize or talk badly about them. When I create, you're my muse The kind of smile that makes the news Can't nobody throw shade on your name in these streets Let's look at some aspects of native speech and how he sings some of his lines. I'm trying to put you in the worst mood uh, P1 cleaner than your church shoes uh, Really point to just to hurt you uh. He says trying to as trina. This is because of two things. We often don't pronounce the G in ING words. Trying becomes tryin. Two is reduced to T. So we would say tryin T. However, this can be reduced even further in fast speech by saying just tryna, as he did here. This is similar to how want to reduces to wanna. Tryna is not standard spelling. 
So only write trying to as trina when you actually intend to add an informal tone to your text. Then note that he says put you as put you. Same with hurt you, which he says as hurt you. This is a common occurrence when a word ending in a T sound is followed by a Y sound. He scares me. It never hurt you. However, you'll also hear versions of this without this sound morphing. Uh, I'm just so sorry I put you through it. Oh, like I could hurt you. Main bitch out of your lip to a side bitch out of your lip to a while in careful speech, this would be out of your league. When we use rapid speech, it becomes out of your league. Let's see a couple more examples of this common case of connected speech. Uh, well, what is it? Uh, they cut me out of the show. <laughs> you want Ross out of the picture. He is? Yep. And way out of your league. <laughs> out of my league. All right, so now let's move on to The weekend's next hit, which has been rated as the most popular song of 2020 globally. Real quick though, I have a question. Do you get frustrated when natives speak really fast? Well, I wanna help. That's why we created this masterclass that will help you to understand natives no matter how fast we speak by learning the vocabulary that natives really use every day. Pronunciation, how we cut and connect our words together. Understanding all of the jokes by learning about the culture and it's absolutely free. You will not find it here on YouTube, so you can learn more and sign up by clicking up here or down in the description below. If you are on your own, you are alone. There's no one with you. Similarly, if you do something on your own, you do it without anyone's help. However, here he is saying he's been single for a long time and that he has forgotten how to love. I'm going through a drought You don't even have to do too much You can turn me on with just a touch Baby If you go through something, you experience it. This is often used with emotions. Example, he's going through some pain now. Withdraws is what a person feels when he or she stops using drugs. In this case, he probably is comparing love to a drug and that being without it is causing him to have this feeling. Las Vegas is nicknamed Sin City because of the presence of gambling and prostitution, among other things, which are legal there, unlike in the rest of the United States. A sin is a word used in a religious context that refers to an action that is considered to be an offense against God. Then he says no one is there to judge him. If you judge someone, you create an opinion about someone that's often unfair. And I love like I jealous, but don't judge me. And I know that I'm being hateful, but that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. I'm just jealous. I'm just human. Don't judge me. If 
If you're blinded by something, you can't see, whether momentarily or permanently. In this song, this could mean many things. The lights might come from a car, or from the lights of Sin City. In a more metaphorical sense, he might be overwhelmed by the fame. Celebrities are exposed to many kinds of lights, like stage lights or the camera flashes of paparazzis. After talking about lights, he mentions the night, possibly to allude to an opposite feeling. When you drown in something, you feel overwhelmed by something. Literally, to drown means to die from being underwater for too long, or to kill someone in this way. If you're loving learning with the weekend songs, then don't stop now. Over on our Instagram at reallife.english, you will find a lesson with another one of his hit songs. Plus, every day you can get more fun and fast lessons with your favorite movies, series, and more. Now let's learn with the final song, I Can't Feel My Face. As we have already seen in his other songs, The Weeknd isn't one to be afraid to show his bad drug habits. In fact, that is this song's central theme. The name of this song, I Can't Feel My Face, refers to the effect drugs, namely cocaine, have on his skin when he's high. He's aware of the danger a drug like cocaine implies. That's why he sings, she'll be the death of me. A part of your body that is numb is unable to feel anything. For example, because you are very cold. I can't feel my fingers anymore. I lied, they're, they're, they're numb. We also use it in a more general way. Man that's gay gets dropped on the daily. We become so numb to what we're saying. If a feeling gets the best of you, you can't stop yourself from allowing that feeling to make you do something, even when you know that what you're doing is wrong. You could say, don't let fear get the best of you, if someone decides not to do something because they're afraid. The phrase, the worst is yet to come, means bad things are about to happen. We often express the opposite with the worst is already behind us. How do you think we could express the opposite of this expression? The most is yet to come, the best is coming, the best is yet to come. So we often say the best is yet to come to refer to someone's bright future. Example, when he graduated top of his class, many told him the best is still yet to come. Misery is a state of great unhappiness. You probably know the expression to be in love. To emphasize the state, we say deep or deeply. I still don't believe that you loved me once. I was quiet to be in love too. But we are so dumb. 
together now. Have you been enjoying learning with The Weeknd? Then next I recommend you learn with another music lesson, like the recent one that we created with Dua Lipa, or tons more that we have in this playlist of lessons with songs. You'll find that by hitting up here or down in the description below. Now let's wrap up today's lesson by testing everything you've learned. I'm trying to put you in the worst mood, uh, P1 cleaner than your church shoes, uh, belly point to just to hurt you, uh, all red lamb just to tease you, uh, none of these toys on least to, uh. Maybe you can show me how to love me.